apologize for the lighting. I'm sorry you can't see me right now. I apologize for the lighting. I am sorry you can't see me right now. I apologize for the lighting. Now that I made that sound like a now that I made that sound like a, now that I made that sound like a broken record, I'm going to be honest. This is a video reply to a comment that someone mailed me called life. It took me a while to figure out what I was going to say. The other day I had something in my head to say, but when I tried to explain it to myself, it didn't sound right. So, a friend of mine, I think she's a close friend of mine, uh, her son was in a tragic accident just recently. And he's been overseas in a foreign country. And the people he are riding with, I guess they either ran off the road and hit a crowd of people or, you know, just some people crossing the road and they didn't see him and four people were run down. Um, no, three people were run down. I want to try to change the story enough, but get the essence of what she told me out so people can possibly comment and maybe give her a little insight on how some people think. So, let me go ahead and... I can't say it like she did it exactly because certain things certain people say are personal. That's why I'm not giving any names. So let me go ahead and say these three people were run down. They exited their car to try to help the people. And right there on the spot, two of the three people died. They just got back in their cars and drove off. Now, this young person in question, he was stunned to see that no one tried to call for any help. Pretty much move the bodies off the road and go on. Um, so, he was hurt. Physically, physically he, he's alright. He didn't get injured in the accident. But physically, to see how you can just drag two bodies and an injured person off to the side of the road and just drive off is, is humanly alarming. It makes you question life itself as, well, what is it? Can we just do this and, and have no feelings and no respect for life? And can we just let people die in the streets? And what kind of world are we in? And from an older person's perspective, looking through a window, and the window is the eyes of a young man, it sads, saddens me to see someone in their early 20s have to go through this. To sit back and watch two people get killed and feel completely helpless. Not helpless because you can't save the person. Helpless because the people are just pushed off to the side of the road, like a like when you run over a, a, a wild turkey or something. You, you hit a deer or something. You just rush, push it off. A lot of people take the road kill home, but these are human beings. No roadside burial. No note. No. No. Oh my God! What have we done? It's like, hey, let's. Okay, we can't help them. Let's go. No remorse. Um. That, that tends you that, that that tends to send your mind to how many times has this happened? Why does this happen? You know, over and over, all over the world, and you look at yourself and you say, you know, I'm glad I live in a country where somebody might might try. You know, it it kicks a mortality level in like no other you believe that you know as you human beings that we're not civilized um, a civilized species would have never allowed this to happen um, you know and in a perfect world because people like to use that a lot and I do in a perfect world these people would have got instant help um, in a perfect world, the young man's feelings would not have been thrown away, not by him, but those who were there with him during this incident. He wasn't driving, you know, 
but he was in the car that struck these people and as a human being the price of life is a hell of a lot more than the actual sticker tag we put on it in other words this young man was probably I might be wrong thinking these people had a life before we came along this road and for a young person for uh, let me and for a young person that may haunt him forever he may feel as if he's betraying these people's lives by not staying there we have been taught to stay and try and when you're overseas man these people are taught different lessons so if somebody runs up to you overseas and they got M16 they're to get out the car get out the car you're not at home you have to get out the car that brings me to this um, we were on vacation in Mexico one year and you know there's a bus full of tourists American scum you know you know how they call us overseas and we're just in Mexico and our tour bus hit a lady and her kids they were not in the street like these other people but they were in a car and we hit them t-boned them bus driver and two other people not off the bus like in the streets he walked up to the lady he looked in her car the car was totaled, there's glass everywhere, and one of the little kids had a cut on the top of his head. Looked at her and said three things. We are behind schedule. These three men lifted this lady's little bitty car up out of our way. Bus driver and his guy got back on the bus and we drove off. This lady could have no logical problems. That kid could have glass in his eyes. But we drove off. We got to a little downtown area. And my wife says, look, look over there. And right on the building, it says, insurance by the day. By the day. Insurance by the the day that what shows you things are tough all over and this was like eight to ten years ago for the young man who had to watch that carnage on the side of the road I I man I cannot tell you how to feel and I can only feel for what you've seen um hopefully you can build up the courage inside you to understand in different cultures there's different rules even though we might not agree we do not agree with some of the rules in these other countries but as a human being when you're in someone else's backyard you gotta follow their rules even though the rules of life may be different than the rules and regulations we were raised under. This, the quality standard of respect I feel for you and my condolence to those fallen for no reason, for the deadline, for whatever. My condolences to those unknowns and my condolences also for your feelings. I'm sorry. I feel bad that a young person in today's society has to find out at the ripe age of 20 something that the reality of life is in life there's death. May your God bless you, your family, and those around you. For those who can't make it across the road, you've been tubed.